Hi, welcome back to Clean Classics. This time is the panels for the Series 2A. Johnny's going to take a look at how we anneal and beat the sort of smaller dents out of the wings and things. And we're also going to be replacing the floor on our rear tub. And we've also had some more bits from Pioneer Sheet Metal. It's a few more bits for the Series 1, a lot of the bits for the heater assembly we were talking about in a previous video, as well as a few other, other bits to, to, to complete that project. Next thing on the Series 2A build is to do is to do a dry build really before all the panels go to paint so we can make sure all the panels fit together properly. Obviously these two wings are second-hand wings from two different vehicles. The front grille panel is a second-hand panel. We'll look at that in a minute as well. So we're just we're just going through the process of repairing these panels ready to bolt them all onto the vehicle and make sure everything lines up properly and make sure it all fits together and then it's ready to go out to paint. As you can see with this with this wing, it's got quite a it's got quite a dent in here. It's got a couple of it's got a, it's got quite a few dents. There's a dent. There's a there's a line through there. Um, there's also a dent through there, a dent in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna anneal this panel, and then I'm gonna try and work the dents out with a with a dolly and a hammer. We've annealed that that inner wing and and reshaped it, dollied it back out to the shape it's supposed to the supposed it's supposed to be. So you've got a straight line through there, and then you've got a straight line through where the where the rad panel where the rad panel sits. Smart. Just like that. So this is the front grille panel for the 2A build. Customer decided that he wanted headlights in the middle and and side lights and indicators in the wings. So we've sourced a, a second-hand second grill panel, um, but the bottom was quite, uh, was quite bad and the reinforcing rib was quite, uh, was quite poor. So we've cut all that out and let a new bottom piece into this, into this panel. And that's just in, I think Fred's put graphene primer on that. Yeah, that's that's all it's had. It's it's had no high build primer or anything. So you can see that the well, you can well you can't really see where the repairs are, but that's that's kind of the point. So yeah. So that's the front panel. Aftermarket panels don't tend to fit don't tend to fit amazingly well and Land Rover panels do vary quite a bit anyway. So some of the some of the returns in the inside the inside the gaps in the grill panel didn't really line up very well so i've had to i've had to dress them and get them get them to the point where they uh where they line up and look right fred's cleaned up the rest of it and uh rust killed it and then primed it so it's ready for for high build primer or or filler if I sh it shouldn't need i don't think it will need much filler if any um probably just a coat of high build primer and and then some uh, and then some paint we're hanging fire on that until we've done the dry build in case we need to make any adjustments or to bolt holes or whatever to make everything fit together because all of these all of these bits all of these front end bits are all from different vehicles and have some new panels put into them as well So 
so this is the other front wing for the for the 2a project and as you can see new front panel new outer wing uh, both alley panels and i've i've jigged them together you've obviously got to adjust adjust your your panel gaps to get them as good as you as you as you can obviously factory spec wasn't wasn't amazing panel fit anyway but you want to aim for 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 better than that if you can so you've just got to get all of your all of your panel gaps lined up and get your get your front get your front panel spot welded in and then your outer panel bolted on in the right place but obviously you want the outer panel on when you're jigging up the front panel this front panel the new front panel turned up with the wrong angle on the top here so this seam would have been would have been really wide so i've had to i've had to modify that to close that to close that top gap up as well So this is the rear door for the 2A project. It was actually pretty solid, this door. So we've done a few minor little welding repairs to the frame and then uh, Fred's epoxy primed the frame to give it, to give it uh, some protection. Cleaned it all up with a wire wheel, obviously first, rust killed it and then epoxy primed it. And then we've fitted a new door skin onto the bottom because the old one had a load of holes drilled in it and stuff. So, and as you can see, I, I had to had to remove one of the upper one of the one of the pillar panels to get the to get the skin on. So there was a little bit of rust behind there. So while it was off, we've just rust killed that, and then I'm just about to 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 put this put this this old original panel back in over the top. So the rear tub for the the series 2A build had quite a bit of corrosion in the floor. So I've unstitched all the all the spot welds, and we're going to change the floor panel. So I'm just about to pull the floor panel out, and then it's getting a new floor and all the reinforcing struts. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this should come out just like that, and then that can go in the bin. And then we just gotta clean up and dress all these all these edges back and get it ready for the new floor to go in. In the previous video we did in the workshop, which the link will be below, we made some parts on CAD and did some drawings and models of the Smith heater and some other additional bits for the series one and hopefully they will all be in here and ready to go on the car. So. So this here is the uh, mount we've made for the 12 volt battery that we're going to put on our car. 
Um, and for the Series 1, we're going to have the charging plug under the bonnet. So that will mount right there. And then we'll have a 12 volt kill switch and a fuse under here. And then this here is our design to adapt the original Smith's heater to be used with a PTC heater in the back, obviously, because we can't use excess engine heat in an electric car. So this is our solution. So here we are in Fredo's office, or our little pop-up paint booth. Um, but what we're looking at is the the bulkhead for the Series 2A project. We've we've started the footwell replacement repairs, um, and we will carry on at some point. But what we've decided, getting further into into repairing this bulkhead, is just there's so many little areas of, of small areas of rot that need removing reforming welding back in that it's just repairing this bulkhead is not going to meet the the timeline really of of the project that we that we want to meet um so in this instance we've decided to get a new bulkhead um we can then put this on the shelf and and it can it can just give us a bit of rainy day stuff to get on with um if we're between other projects we can keep this in stock repair it and then and then it can go in a future project you know when when the time pressures aren't so high so the replacement bulkhead we're getting is from Shielder um, and hopefully they're going to turn one around really quickly for us um, and we're, it's going to be a galvanised one. So what we always want is our builds to last as long as possible and just be, be really nice quality. Thanks for watching. As always, if you've been enjoying the content we've been creating here, like and subscribe. It makes a big difference to our channel. Thanks a lot. Done. <laughs>